Well, here we are in East Grand Rapids, ready to help the Alietta family with some window dressing. We'd like to put a, a window box in right under the picture window in the front. I thought it would jazz up the front of the house. You know, if I've ever seen a window that was made for a window box, <laughs> this is it. Where are we going to put it? Well, I thought the box would look great right under the brick there. Uh-huh. Uh, Going the full length of the sill. Yeah, okay. yeah. I think it's about 10 feet long. Okay. And, uh, you know, I thought it would be a good mother-daughter project here. You two are mother and daughter? I thought yes. you were sisters. Well, bless you. <laughs> This is the stock of wood that we're going to be using for our project right here. It's all pressure treated lumber. Uh, I've asked uh, Mandy and Karen to go ahead and put a coat of paint on this before we put this together. It'll save us some time. Come over here, guys. Let me show you what we've got here. This is this 2 by 8 is going to be our bottom. Uh, this is a front and a back, 1 by 6. And over here, a shorter piece of wood out of which we're going to cut the ends. Okay. From the short piece of 1x6, I measure and lay out the end pieces. Now, we could cut these using a power saw, but because Karen and Mandy were new to power tools, I decided to give them a lesson using one of my favorite Japanese hand saws. Let's get this started for you, and then I'd like you to just saw right on back that down that line. All right. Okay. Just slide it back. That's great. Great. Okay, Karen. I want you to drill some pilot holes in this end piece for me. Have you ever used a drill before? No, I haven't, Ron. Uh, the premier performance. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Drilling holes in the end pieces will keep the screws we'll be using from splitting the wood. Like her mom, Mandy is a quick study on the drill. While I hold the end pieces in place, Mandy replaces the drill bit with the screwdriver bit and attaches the ends to the bottom. Getting to be a pro at this. <laughs> Push, 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 push. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, one more and we're done here on this end. Flip this over. Okay. Just use that to support our wood. Next, we get ready to attach the front and back to the bottom. First, we do a test to make sure that everything fits properly. To be flush with the end or pretty close to it. It is, that's good. Excellent. Then we once again pre-drill the holes to allow the screws to go in more easily. Now, rust-proof screws are ideal for planter boxes, but they can be unsightly. The problem is I don't want the screw heads to show. So what's the solution? Countersinking! <laughs> countersinking, that's what we're gonna do, okay? And to do that, this is a special, it's called a countersink bit. See, it's sort of shaped like a cone. We're gonna put this in the hole that we just drilled and create a little depression here. And a little bit more. About like that, okay? Little cone-shaped depression. Then we drop the screw in. Now the screw head is below the surface of the wood, so we can come back over and spackle this. You'll never know these are here. That's great. There you go. Right. But we won't rely on screws alone to hold the planter together. We'll also apply a bead of waterproof construction adhesive before we attach the front and back. Perfect. Okay. Karen, this is the front now. Okay, just lay it right on top of the glue. There you go. We're going to drive these screws in. Now, these are uh, two and a half inch long rust proof screws right in here. So we're going right down to that countersink. We won't see the heads of these because we're going to fill that up. Look at this girl go. Yeah, I'm very, you. very good, Mandy. Very good. <laughs> okay, this is our back. We've got a glue in place. Guys, just make sure that it's flush with the ends. So push or pull it, whatever you have to do. We use exterior spackle to cover the screw holes, making sure to press the spackle firmly into the hole and remove the excess. Now, we'll let everything dry overnight. Oh, what a beautiful morning to install a flower box, huh? Hi, Ron. How you doing? Okay, guys, come over here, if you wouldn't mind. This is going to be a power operation. Thank you. Andy? Thanks. Karen. What we want to do right now is we're going to drill some drainage holes in the bottom of the box right here. Now remember, this window box is going to be filled with wet soil for maybe years, so I don't trust the pressure treatment on this lumber to keep this from rotting out. We need something else. Now I could use a plastic liner like this, but I couldn't find one that really would fit this. So another alternative is a roofing compound. You can buy this in any home improvement center. You simply apply this with a wide putty knife, just like you were frosting a cake. As Ron says, just like spreading frosting. 
sticks really easy. Next, we place small squares of weed cloth over the drainage holes. This will prevent soil from washing out. Okay, let's, uh, let's attach this uh, planter to the wall now. I've got a set up over here. We're gonna use these angle brackets right here. We're gonna mount them in this direction. First thing we've gotta do though is drill some holes here. And I've got a half inch carbide tipped uh, bit in here. And this is a hammer drill. It's actually, it looks like a drill, but it sort of hammers as it turns. You'll see, it's gonna make this drilling go a lot faster. This is a, uh, called a lag shield, or sometimes called an anchor. It's made of lead. It's gonna go right in this hole that we just drilled here. Just tap it in with your hammer. There you go, just. The L brackets are held in place with two inch long lag screws. Using a socket wrench, Karen and Mandy tighten them snugly. All right, I hope this fits. I hate to have to redo all this, guys. The big moment is here. Okay, there we go, right on the brackets. Okay, looks great, Ron. That's terrific. Underneath, we use additional lag screws to attach the window box to the L bracket. With the planter complete, it's time for us to add potting soil. That's, that's great. Yeah, that should do it. It's ready for the plants. Oh, I love this. Oh, I like the way these, some of these come down. You get flowers going up here. Very, very nice. You know, this was a beautiful window before, but this really completes the picture, and you guys did almost all the work. It looks like it's always been here, but it, it certainly dresses it up. It does. Yeah. It's right with the shutters. Yeah. Thanks so much. You're welcome. <laughs>